Germany is a small country and with about 230 people per square kilometer on average, it's one of the most populated nations in the world. Typical for Germany is a keen demand for land, balancing the competing needs of settlement and traffic, agriculture, forestry and recreational areas poses the question of how to use the land as efficiently as possible. One challenge of Zetilandron is to find a new balanced and sustainable land use uh, strategy for Germany. Johanna Fick and Horst German are the scientific managers of the Climate Change Land Use Strategies Project in Germany, or in short, CC Landstrad. They coordinate an expert team of 25 scientists, both in social and natural sciences. A very ambitious um, objective here in, in CC Landstrad is to combine different models from agriculture economics, forest economics, um, climate models, um, uh, geophysical models uh, for soil and water, uh, water quality models into one uh, framework. This framework helps the team to find a scientific basis and supports dialogue with regional and national interest groups. At the end, recommendations about optimum land use under given circumstances will be an important result of this project. For instance, Germany is striving to reduce its greenhouse gas emissions and thus expand renewable energies. Therefore, 17% of the arable land is already used for energy crops like maize, plants which will not be eaten but combusted mainly to produce energy and also to drive. Should growing energy crops be increased to meet the environmental objectives of carbon dioxide reduction or are there trade-offs which more than counteract the effect of CO2 reduction? At the moment the discussion is very emotional and mm -hmm. our research can, for instance, uh, give a factual and scientific basis to this discussion and we also would like to answer the, um, what can be the contribution of land use to the climate change protection goals. The main challenge of sustainable land management in Germany will remain the competition between strong interest groups in a highly industrialised country.